we need to check our machine just take a few moments each time we use the machine to make sure that we're not breaking the law or we're not going to get into trouble at the end of the road. To keep things really simple we use the word bolts. Brakes, oil, lights, tyres and steering. The brakes, very easy. Take the bike off the stand. Apply the front brake, let it move a couple of inches and just make sure that it stops nicely against that brake. Likewise with the rear brake we change to the other brake, push it forward an inch or two and just push it against it. Both are functioning nicely, both feel as they did yesterday. Oil. The bike we're looking at here is brand new. A brand new engine will consume a little bit more engine oil than a fully run in engine. So what we do on a new engine is perhaps check it every day for the first few days. But once we were happy that the engine oil level was settling nicely, then we could perhaps move that oil check to once a week. To do an oil check, I'm just going to move around the other side of the bike for you. And unless you want dirty fingers, just before you go to work, a little piece of rag on a cold engine, undo the oil filler and combined dipstick. Take it out carefully, try not to drip oil everywhere and just give the dipstick a wipe. Just resting the dipstick in the filler hole now, not screwing it in, we just withdraw it and we check that we have engine oil, preferably somewhere near the top, but we don't overfill because that's as bad for an engine as having too low a level and we're happy with that. L is for lights, we can check the indicators. Front and rear. Again. First of all, we've got two beams on the headlight, of course. So we've got a low beam, we've got a high beam, and we've got a headlight flasher. Okay, happy with that. We're going to move to the back of the machine. We can see we have a tail light. We also have a brake light on the rear brake and a brake light on the front brake. Perfectly happy now to stop the engine. Tires, we only really need to check two things on your tires. One, that they're pumped up and they haven't gone down since we last used the machine. And two, that we haven't picked up nails and screws or they're not falling off the rims. So it's a visual check. To the touch, it's nice and firm. Same with the back tire. And I can see, as expected, that tyre is in perfectly good order. The final check in our bolts check is S for steering. And all we've got to do here, again, on the stand is fine. Turn it all the way to the right. Listen for the little knock as it hits the lock stop. Move it all the way to the left, likewise. That's that little knock as it hits the lock stop. Very easily damaged in a crash. It's always worth checking there, there. And making sure the steering turns smoothly and comfortably left to right with no loose feeling to it and certainly no notchy or gritty feeling to it. And that's about it for a pre-ride check. Brakes, oil, lights, tyre steering with practice. That'll take between 30 seconds and a minute to do. This motorcycle is very, very light. It's very, very easy to move it. Pick this up and put it in a van in 30 seconds flat. Whenever you leave your bike unattended, you should always Securely chain your bike to street furniture if you can and leave it with the steering lock applied.